Okay, so now it's time for some math functions. So if you have been following us from our website, from our online course, then kindly download file number 3 and then please go to sheet 1 and we are going to have a review of basic math functions, basic arithmetic operations in Excel. So in sheet 1, we have a table there that says we want to get the sum, obviously, of the funds and that would be equals sum open parenthesis and then we need to get the cells and that would be cell C2 to C13 close enter and you get the sum of the numbers so as you could see all you have to do in these math functions is that you start of course with the equal sign get the operation that you want open parenthesis and then highlight the cells that you want to be included in the summation enter another math operation is to get the average and it follows the very same format you just start with the equal sign equals average open parenthesis highlight the cells and that's it enter and you now have the average of those numbers if you doubt it you could manually check it highlight and it says here that the average here is 1,505,378 so yes we got it correct the next one is the count so probably how many employees or how many municipalities are there in the list so if you want to do that there are two functions in Excel that can perform a count first is literally count if you're going to use count make sure that you are highlighting a set or a series of numbers so we got 12 but it followed the format of the previous cells so we want to change the format by going to home and then instead of allowing the customize or the format that was previously there we'd rather go for a general format to remove the currency and the decimal as well note going back to count count only counts numbers so if you are going to count cells with texts then count will not work for example if I say count of the municipalities B2 to B13 enter and I will not get an answer because B2 to B13 is comprised of texts count is for numbers if what you only have are municipalities and you have to count them you don't have column C for example then you must use another function whose job is to count anything numbers or texts and that is count a count anything count all count a highlight those cells and then hit enter and you get the same answer so just to recap count is for numbers count A is for texts or any thing at all it can even count numbers as well so it really depends on what you need so if I say count A and highlight this close enter and I still get 12 because count A counts anything if you want to be strict about it you only want to count numbers then that's going to be count next moving on so let's say I want to find out what is the highest amount or the highest funds that we have here in the list. That is the job of the function max. So like its other counterparts in the math family, all you have to do is start with the equal sign, then the function, open parenthesis, and then highlight the cells that you are trying to compare, close, enter, and now we have the highest number is 1,818,610 given to us by the max function. The next one, the opposite of max, is min, minimum. Again, same format, open parenthesis, highlight the cells, close, enter. And we now have the lowest number among those cells. So again, just to recap, 
basic math functions sum average count count a for anything highest max lowest min for minimum